heat of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's trouble on the trail ahead. Along the main street of a town called Carson, a man walked with long, determined strides. His eyes were hard, his lips pressed, and a six-gun swung within easy reach of his hand at every step. Struggling vainly to match the man's strides was a 12-year-old boy. Store loungers and town folk eyed them curiously as they passed. Then as they sensed what it was about to occur, they slowly followed the man and the boy up the street. Pop! Pop, is it true? What, Tim? Are you really gunning for Vince McNary? Go home, son. Pop, I gotta know. Pop! I said go home. Vince McNary's a dead shot. He'll get you for sure. You don't understand. Sure I do. Wendy Peters was your best friend. And Vince McNary shot him. Oh, I like Wendy just as much as you. But, Pop, I don't want you killed, too. Here's the cafe. You stay outside, son. Pop! <laughs> I'm looking for Vince McNary. I'm looking for Vince McNary. Here I am, Grant. I'm inviting you to draw, Vince. You're might overheated. Have a drink and cool off. I'm waiting. So am I. For an explanation. Wendy Peters went out to trail a maverick last night. This morning I found him near the water hole. Shot in the back. What's that to do with me? I found a lot of fresh hoof prints near the water. And a break in the fence where you brought your longhorns of my land for a drink. You ought to make sure you're fast. I'd know your gun play anywhere, Vince. I couldn't be more certain you killed Wendy than if you'd branded him with your double D iron. Call off your dogs, Grant. They're barking up the wrong tree. You need the water in my ranch bad. So bad you thought murder would scare me into selling out. It was a mistake you were putting them fences between our two properties. It's a bigger mistake to shoot a man in the back. I'm inviting you to brush leather, Vince. Your hand's hanging kind of close to that six gun, ain't it, Grant? Figuring to jump the draw? I'm figuring to draw with you on equal terms. That's more than you deserve. So you won't uh, swallow this drink first? I'm on to your stalling. From now on, we'll talk with shooting irons. If you won't swallow this drink, Grant, take it in the face. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
That was as low down a stunt as I've ever seen, Ben. Yeah, throw lick on a man's face so he can't see, then shooting him. Yeah. He was aiming to jump the draw. Grant says he wasn't, and I'm for taking his word. Comes pretty close to murder, if you ask me. Come on, Let me through. Let me through. Pop. Pop, say something. Pop! He's dead. He's dead. I'll make it up to you, Pop. I'll avenge it. I swear I will. I swear it. <laughs> A week later, at a lonely spot in an arroyo some miles from town, two horsemen met. One was Vince McNary. The other was a hard-faced man with small, beady eyes. His name was Hawk. You got here prompt, Hawk. Yeah, I came as soon as I got your message, Vince. Why didn't you arrange for us to meet in town instead of this forsaken hole? I didn't want you seen. You've never been in Carson. Nobody there knows you. What of it? You'll serve you in a minute. I got a job for you. Any connection with the Grant shooting? How do you know about that? Why well, I hear things. Matter of fact, there is. Grant left a will bequeathing his ranch to his motherless kid. You, Hank, you don't that ranch yourself, Vince. Yeah, but Grant refused to sell. He didn't scare easy, either. What do you mean? Even murdering old Wendy Peters didn't frighten him off. I ain't said that. You don't have to. <laughs> don't look so worried, Vince. Your secret's safe with me. It better be. Reckon you want Grant's ranch bad, huh? Want ain't the word, Hawk. I got to have it. The kid owns the only water hole for miles. And it's fenced in so my steers can't drink. Yeah, I heard about that. If I don't control that pond mighty soon, my stock will sicken and die. If you hadn't swindled them steers from Grant's neighbors, they could drink when they please. That's enough, Hawk. <laughs> kind of touchy tonight, ain't you? You keep on rubbing me the wrong way and I'll touch leather. Easy, Fence. What's on your mind? I want that range. Getting it from the kids should be like taking candy from a baby. You don't savvy. I want it legal. Legal? People in these parts already riled at me for that liquor shooting of Grant in the cafe. If I tried to take the ranch by force, they'd hang me from the nearest tree. Yeah, but you ain't figuring on the kids selling it to you. No. I'm figuring on you selling it to me. Me? In his will, Grant gave his brother power of attorney. That means he'll be the kid's guardian and handle his affairs. Well, what's it to do with me? The brother lives in Denver. Nobody in Carson's ever seen him, not even the kid. Yeah? He's coming on the next stage to supervise the ranch. But I have a feeling he won't arrive. <laughs> hey, Savvy. I thought you would. I can uh, see where it's up to me to make this brother disappear so as I can come in and take his place with his credentials. That's a doggone nice ranch. Yeah. And when I sell it to you, you'll be about the richest man in these parts. Mm. I should get a nice cut out of the deal. You'll be taken care of. If you follow orders. All right, Vince. Let's have them orders. The afternoon stage for Carson reached one of the small way stations. A short stop for watering the horses gave the lone passenger a chance to step out and stretch his legs. Uh, I'm going to get out for a spell. Uh, uh, oh, pardon me, mister. Is your name Grant? Jed Grant? Yes, why? Brother of the man that died recent? Yes, I'm on my way to take charge of his ranch. Got a message for you. A message? Yeah, I can't tell you now. Somebody might overhear. There's a patch of trees behind the station where we can talk. But I... You I... want to know about the kid's danger, don't you? Danger? Well, yes. Well, then come on. If anything happened to that boy, what kind of danger is he in? You heard of Vince McNary? Vince McNary? He killed Tim's father. That's right. You don't mean he plans to harm Tim, too? Well, not personally. Well, I don't understand. Vince aims to take over the kid's ranch. He does, huh? Well, I'll put a stop to that. Yeah, Vince figured you'd be ornery. You'd be in charge of the kid's affair. So he's arranged for you to meet with uh, sudden death. Murder? Yeah. Then it'd be easy for the killer to pretend he's the kid's uncle and sell Vince the ranch dirt cheap. So that's his scheme. Here's the trees. Well, uh, 
Who's the man he hired to kill me? Me. What? You? Don't make a sound or I'll drill you. You, you tricked me. <laughs> Had to get you off here so them hombres at the station won't see what'll happen. And I thought you were a friend. <laughs> that was the idea. You smooth tongue. Easy. Hand over your credentials. Your stage ticket. You can't get away with this. The stage driver and the guard know me. They'll recognize you as an imposter. <laughs> the stage changed his hands at the station for the run to Carson. The new driver and guard won't know the difference. Well, they, they'll hear your shot. You'll be caught and hanged. <laughs> I don't aim to shoot you here. What do you mean? Vince's boys are behind them trees. Waiting to take you to the hideout while I occupy your seat on the stage. And later? We'll see. <laughs> Late the next day, an Indian dressed in buckskin made camp in a ravine a few miles from the Grant Ranch. Suddenly he heard hoofbeats and saw a boy, his small waist weighted with a gun belt and two heavy six shooters riding toward town. Fast overtaking him was a man on a black horse. The boy was Tim. The man was Hawk. Come on, Prince. Don't let him catch us. Hey, now. Faster, Prince, faster. Pull up that horse, Tim, or I'll shoot. We're heading for town and you can't stop us. I'm your uncle. You take orders from me. I don't like you. You leave me alone. Come on, Prince. You stubborn maverick. Let go of that bridle. Let go, I tell oh, you. Oh, horse. Pull up there. Pull. Let me go. Let me go. Get off that horse. I won't. Fritz was my pop's horse. He's mine now. I reckon them six guns were your paws, too. Oh, I reckon they were. And I'm gunning for Vince McNary. Now, Ted, there's uh, no use having trouble between us. Uh, ain't you young to be greasing leather? And I'll show you. Say, that's a pretty fast draw you got there. <laughs> you bet it is. I've been practicing. And I can shoot as fast as I can draw. <laughs> yeah. Reckon Vince McNary hears about that. He'll plumb scare green. <laughs> he better. I'm aiming to drill him between the eyes for double-crossing my dad in a gun duel. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Give me them guns. Stop it. Let go. Those are my shooting I'll irons. take them. My papa's let me carry them. You ain't got no right yeah. to take them. Now, you young whippersnapper. You give gun back. What? Oh, an engine. Where'd you come from? Get out of here. I won't have a redskin telling me what you to... You give gun back. I'll show it. Oh, doggone. Why, you meddling engine. Well, you get up. Here. Here your gun, Tim. Gee, thanks. Oh, you go. Yeah, come on, run along. I'm going. And it's for you, Uncle. You keep your distance and keep your hands off me. You won't get another chance to take these guns away from me. Get up. Get up there, boy. And you go now. I'll meet you again, Redskin. And when I do, you won't get me off guard. <clears throat> Remember that. Get up. Oh, who's over? Oh, oh. Uh, you come in nick of time, said a big fella. <coughs> Toto, I saw you fighting. Who was the boy? Uh, him called Tim. Tim, huh? He's the son of the rancher, Vince McNary, shot in a cafe. Ah. Uh, him want to fight Vince in gun duel. Why, it'd be suicide. Vince McNary is a crack shot. Well, Tim, plenty good, too. Him shoot crow from tree. That was the shot I heard. Ah. Uh. That boy's in danger. Vince McNary wants his ranch. Oh. Uh. Vince, plenty bad. The man you saw with Tim was Hawk, a notorious gunman. Boy, call him uncle. Are you sure? Uh. I heard Tim's uncle arrived on the stage yesterday to act as a boy's guardian. Well, Hawk, not guardian. No, something's happened to the real one. Something planned by Hawk and Vince McNary. Hawk, make believe him guardian. It's easy for him to pretend. Neither he nor Tim's uncle are known around here. Uh. We've got to find the real uncle. It's our only chance to expose the masquerade. And uh, me hunt for him? Ask him, Osabe. I'll keep an eye on Tim. Come, Scout. Steady, big fella. <coughs> Meet at the camp. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Well, Silver, boy! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. In the back room of a cafe, Vince McNary and Hawk completed their plans for swindling Tim of his ranch, unaware that a masked man who wore silver-mounted six guns listened carefully to every word. It's a lone ranger, huh? Yeah. I'm sure he's a masked hombre I saw riding up. If he should learn your fake as a kid's uncle... Yeah, he won't. He might find the real Jed Grant. <laughs> I've got him hid. Why don't you drill him and be done with it? I'll handle that, Vince, when I got my cash. I don't aim to be double-crossed by you. You just pay me, then I'll see there's no witnesses again, you or me. Yeah, you'll get your pay. When? As soon as we can get to the sheriff and close our deal. I'll pay 2,000 cash for the ranch, and you'll use that power of attorney and sell it to me. 2,000? It's worth ten times that. I'll pay two. When I know Jed is dead, I'll give you two thousand more. I want to be sure he won't talk. He won't talk. And after I'm paid, <laughs> he won't be able to talk. But what if he escapes? He won't. You're as nervous as a woman, Vince. Yeah, I've got a lot at stake. Well, just shoot square with me and you'll be all right. But remember that no man ever crossed me and lived to brag about it. Meanwhile, in a small shack located in an arroyo not far from town, Jed Grant, whom Hawk had kidnapped, sat tied to a chair. Nearby, two hard-faced guards passed the time amiably. Yeah, your deal, Lefty. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you better cash in after this hand, Rube. Open. Yeah. Give me two cards. One, two. I'll take three. You looked at the prisoner lately? Yeah, he's safe. Wish Hawk would hightail it up here and finish him. This place is getting on my nerves. Well, I haven't got much, but I'll call you. Two pair. <laughs> uh, three little ones. Uh, they win. Yep. Now, that's enough for me. Put away the cards. You know, I don't see why Vince wouldn't let us drill Grant in the first place. He'd have stopped Red long before this. Hawk is being paid for the job. Guard! See what he wants, Rube. Common. These ropes are cutting my wrists. Uh, ain't that too bad? How much longer am I to be kept tied like this? Quit beefing. We'll cut you loose when the time comes. Yeah, we won't have need of them ropes then. You'll be dead. Oh, you murderers! Put in your lip. Oh. Open your mouth on a wrong word again. I'll let you have it for keeps. Hey, Rube. What is it? I smell smoke. Smoke? Yeah, it seems to be coming from the front. We better have a look. If this shack catches fire, it'll burn like paper. You'll not make sound. What? What? Who are you? Me, Tonto. Me help you escape. I don't understand. You'll not talk now. Me cut rope. Then come then come back plenty soon. There's a fire, Rook. It's right under that window. I'll get water. One of the guards is coming. Ah, you're almost free now. Lefty. Yeah. Come here, quick. Look. A redskin. Huh? There. You're free now. You come quick. No, you don't. You not stop us. I'll fix you. You miss. I will miss again. He saw you. Take that, too. Are you come? I'm right with you, Tonto. Come. We may get away fast. The roofs are getting away. They won't get far. Racing toward the Lone Ranger's camp, the sturdy paint, despite his double burden, soon outdistanced any thought of pursuit. Then with the masked man and his powerful white stallion in the lead, Scout resumed his stride toward the sheriff's office. Conferring with the sheriff were Vince McNary and Hawk, posing as Tim's uncle and guardian. So you're Tim's uncle, eh? Yeah, that's right, sheriff. And legal appointed guardian, too. With authority to handle the kids' affairs. We uh, wanted you to witness the sale, Sheriff, so there wouldn't be doubt about it being lawful. Yeah, yeah. I uh, reckon you're right at that. Folks around here have been plenty riled at your shooting Tim's father in the cafe, Vince. If they thought there was anything underhanded about your buying the boys' ranch, they'd skin you alive. Well, this sale's on the level, Sheriff. Well, you see, Sheriff, Tim's father left a lot of unpaid bills. And selling the ranch is the only way we can settle the accounts. Well... 
Ain't nothing to stop you, as long as you got papers to prove who you are. Uh, here's my credentials. Hmm. Seems to be in order. Hmm, sure, sure, dear Sheriff. This uh, sign here is witness to the sale. Right. I suppose my suspicions can't stop me from signing. I... Sheriff. Well, as I live and breathe. My name is Jed Grant. I'm Tim's uncle. He lies. He's an imposter. Sheriff, this here's Jed Grant. Hold on. McNary, either you're a fool or you think I am. That man's a spitting image of the man who was killed. You're right, Sheriff. Tim's father and I were twins. That man held me prisoner. He stole my credentials. Now it's clear as crystal. McNary, this is more of your work. You framed it so as you could buy the ranch for a song. Those papers... They prove, prove you stole them. You're under arrest. Now, how about it, McNary? You going to squeal? Uh, I didn't have any part in this. I didn't know this man was an imposter. Liar. I didn't, and you can't prove it did. Not unless that crook talks. <laughs> yeah. Not unless he talks. Come on, Silver. Several hours after Hawk had been thrown in jail for impersonating Tim's Uncle Jed, Vince McNary returned to the jailhouse. Under cover of darkness, he made his way quietly to the rear of the Dobie building, and picking up a small stone, he rapped on the bars of Hawk's cell window. Hawk! What is it? Keep your mouth shut. I'll bust you out of jail if you're convicted. I ought to tell the whole thing. You got me into this. And I'll get you out. But not if I'm in jail with you. Keep your mouth shut. Three days later, at their camp a few miles from the Grant Ranch, Tonto reported the newest developments to the Lone Ranger. Oh, oh. You're early, Tonto. Uh, judge sentenced Hawk to jail. That leaves Vince McNary still free. Why him not jail, too? I persuaded the sheriff to release him. Well, me not savvy. Vince is guilty of a bigger crime than swindling. He killed Wendy Peters. Oh. We can't prove it unless Vince is free. Okay, oh, Masabi. Me bring note. Oh, it's from Tim. Uh. And it's addressed to Vince McNary. Uh, you read it. The challenge to Vince to meet Tim in a gun duel in the cafe tomorrow at noon. That's right. Why, Vince McNary is a killer. The boy won't have a chance. Oh, well, Tim, plenty good shot. Why did you bring me the note, Kimosabe? Well, Tim wants you to deliver a note to Vince. It would be murder, I... Wait. We may be able to use this note after all, and without risk to Tim. What you mean? It's a chance to expose a murderer, Tato. Listen. Following the Lone Ranger's instructions, Tonto took Tim's note of challenge to Vince McNary. Then he saw that word of the duel spread through the town. In no time, the gunfight became the primary subject of discussion. Tim will be on hand tomorrow at the cafe. He's shooting it out with McNary. Gunfight? Gunfight, my eye. It's murder. Kid won't have a chance. Oh, oh boy. Tim dismounted in front of the cafe. He tossed the reins over the hitch rack and tugged at the heavy gun belt on his lean hips. His face looked old, far beyond his years as he mounted the cafe steps and crossed the porch. He pushed through the swinging doors. He noticed the sudden hush of the voices. I'm looking for Vince McNary. Well, McNary? I... I haven't finished my drink. Remember what I told you, Vince. Give me a chance, Sheriff. The kid will drill me. Pull a gun on the kid and I'll drill you. I'm gunning for you, Vince. Uh, take it easy, Tim. I... Looks like he's turned yellow, boys. I'm inviting you to a draw, Vince. 
Maybe you ought to throw a little liquor in the kid's face like you did his pa. Yeah, then you can shoot him while he couldn't see. Oh, I'll show you. Remember, Vince. Oh, blast you, Sheriff. You got me over a saddle. If I shoot the kid, you'll shoot me. And if I don't shoot the kid, he'll shoot me. This is your last chance. Brush leather, or I'll shoot you down like you did Pop. That's telling him, Tim. No, let me out of here. Let me through. I'll make a break with your six gun. He means it, boys. No, you will not go. Take your hands off me, Red. You Redskins. stay here. You ask for an engine. Oh! oh. Jump in, she hosh of that. That masked man shot Vince's gun right out of his hand. Let's oh. give that murdering polecat Vince McNary a taste of his own medicine, eh, boys? Yes, no, no. No, no, Sheriff. Sheriff, they'll kill me. Help me, Sheriff. Help me. Hold in a second, boys. No, no, don't let him get me. McNary, take your choice. I'll walk out of here and let the crowd have you, or I'll take you with me to jail. Oh, no, no, don't let him lynch me. Well, how about jail? The mob won't get you there. I ain't done nothing. You can confess to murder. Wendy Grant was murdered. Self-defense. It, it was... was murder. You know it was. Now, take a chance on a jury giving you life in jail, or I'm walking out of here and leaving you. Go ahead, Sheriff. Leave us alone. Let us have the varmint. Leave him here with us. Yeah, here. All right, boys, he's yours. No, 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 Sheriff, don't leave me here. I did it, I did it, I'll tell you. I'll tell That's you. enough, boys. He's confessed. My dad's revenged. Oh, that, that mess man's responsible for this. He framed me. The Lone Ranger. Edwards, count. I'll do it. Away. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>